As you can see, duck blocks have these funny little feet on them. These feet actually serve a very important purpose. They allow the pans to be stacked so that the foam is protected even when you strap them down tightly into an easily transportable block. The business end is right here. After testing many different prototypes, we finally settled on this custom two-part closed cell foam seal. It consists of a denser black foam and a softer gray weather stripping. The two together allow duct blocks to create an airtight seal over most any sealing surface. We've smoke tested duct blocks to at pressures reaching 125 pascals, which is two and a half times more than what you need for a normal duct test. All duct block pans have a quarter inch hole drilled in them so that you can take pressure readings at any register. You can even go from register to register while the ducts are pressurized to help locate leaks. The hole is hidden behind the sticker. To use it, just poke it with a pencil and seal it back up with a small piece of tape later on. Duck blocks are hand built with pride right here in our wood shop in Elk Grove, California. We use renewable, recyclable, engineered wood products such as laminated plywood and finger joint material. Duck blocks attach to the end of zip wall poles using these plastic plates that lock together very easily. The knuckle on the top of the pole allows for even pressure on flat or sloped ceilings. One plate is attached to the duct block pan using industrial strength Velcro, which we have found to be more durable and flexible than a permanent attachment. It also allows you to interchange plates between pans if you need to. Zip wall poles have a nice strong spring that has about four inches of travel, which is more than enough to make a good airtight seal. The main advantage of duct blocks over other register sealing devices on the market is that duct blocks are braced against the floor and push up against the ceiling rather than pulling on the register. Some registers are only held on by a couple screws going into sheetrock. That's not much to support the weight and pull of the device plus the 50 pascals of pressure being exerted on it. 